All right, welcome to a new Let's Play. The, I forgot I even owned this game. What is Oops. it? Oops, uh, it's made by Jane Jensen. <gasps> it's called Mobius. Um, we can look at the intro comic here. Well, that's a neat way of doing an intro. So basically, this is kind of like our like our character who's going to be, and they do kind of a a. He's always bored. He goes, you know, tests easy. I'm bored. And they do a check on him. And his IQ is, like, ridiculous. Oh, my. He's left-brained. Yeah. And he's reading his books, and mom's leaving. Logic and memory are in the, like, almost perfect percentile. And, uh-oh, she's, uh, cheating. Oh, no. And then there's something outside, and it's, uh... A lion attack. Oh. And then the actual dad gets his gun. Oh, these flag looks interesting. We don't really see why. So. Now we're in Spain. Yeah, we're in Spain, which is when this is based. And he does, like, He's looking at like rare antiquities now, <clears throat> and uh, he goes to see this chest, and then he finds out that it's fake. You know, he's saying that it's worth all this money, and he says it's worth nothing. You know, he says, "Who do you think you are?" He goes, "I am someone who appraises valuables for a living, and kills jewelry." It says that that's nothing. Estimated value 150 bucks to the girl. <laughs> and then he gets. He messed around with the wrong people, it looks like. But yeah, because he's getting his. I told you to hire security. <laughs> and he, uh. That's where it kind of starts as him getting in that, that, that fight. Tussle. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, you know, since this is Pickerington Road. We are lucky enough to have the same person doing the music that did Gabriel Knight. So we at least were to treat with that. And the same writer. Yeah, and Jane Jensen, so. I, I Like, this was given to me by Phoenix Online Studios back in the day when it came out. Same thing with their Cognition game that I never have played. I feel bad because they wanted me to review it, but my computer at the time just couldn't handle it. Yeah, it was really bad. You know, while I could play like, you know, what we were doing, like King's Quest stuff and everything. Yeah, Robert Holmes is the uh, the music person. But um so I never really got to play it because it was so bad. And here it is like Almost ten years later, and it's like, oh, I guess we can play it now. <laughs> Computers have finally caught up. <laughs> well, this computer can. <laughs> Still not great, but... The Savant. The Warrior. <laughs> I like how they're setting up like a movie. <laughs> yeah. Blue Wizard needs food badly. And it's kind of a, a sh like this was kickstarted, and you know so you know those people got it because I didn't even know about it. this was like before I even paid attention to stuff. The same thing like space adventure, space venture where it's like those people finally got to play it that like yeah, pre-purchased it, <clears throat> but I wasn't like in a monetary place to do anything like that in those time periods. And this game got kind of a mediocre, like, reviews when it came out, which I never got to play it, so I don't really, like, I played, like, a little bit of it, but it was just so 
bad. Not it, bad. It, not the game bad, like but, your computer couldn't do it bad. Just based on the intro here, it has some high production quality. Yeah, well, you know what it... They didn't have that much money to make. All the money was put into the intro. <laughs> huh. Chewie, are you gonna stay on his... coat the entire time? Chewie likes my winter coat. Mobius? Mo maybe it'll get some more views because people think Morbius. Empire Rising. Morbius is the modern day classic. What are it's, you talking about? It's Morbin time. Mm, Morbin. Sacrilicious. <gasps> Just because oh, you said, mm. goodness. Oh, is this a chapter book? Yeah, it's like, you know, day one, day two, you know. Into your hands. In Venice. Ah, oh, Venice. Venice has the Empire State Building? <laughs> no. It's where his antique place is. You mean like his bookshop? Mm hmm. In New Orleans? New Orleans. Malachi, you're back. Just landed. Are you alright? And there's our grace. What did the doctors say? Lots of bruising, but there's no permanent damage. Don't fuss. Malachi, you were in the hospital in Spain for a week. A man who evaluates antiques for a living should not have to worry about getting beaten by thugs. The chest Senor Perez was trying to sell was a fake. It's hardly my fault he took my evaluation badly. You need to take security on these jobs. Some of these sellers are dangerous people, and you excel at pushing people's buttons. I'm honest, and that's precisely why my clients hire me. Is there any urgent business? I have a few things to fill you in on. Let me know when you've had a chance to settle in. We don't really need that. How to play. Well, one of the cool things is is it'll show you the hot spots. Oh, that's neat. So if you miss something. And we've got... You know what they could have done? They could have just made the cursor sparkly glow over anything they, that you need to click They could have. <laughs> this should look familiar. Yes, yeah, just like New Orleans, except it's Manhattan. <laughs> right. I like how we walked back in. Because there's all kinds of voodoo in Manhattan. Is there? <laughs> my suitcase. I can't forget I have my passport in the pocket. Well, that sounds important. I need my passport. I'll take my passport with me. We have an inventory. We, yes, it's over here. The objects in those security boxes are especially valuable. Gretchen gets them down if a serious buyer is interested. Sometimes, our customers bring in items for my appraisal. They're kept tucked away behind the screen, so no one tries to buy them. Is there Let's anything the in the screen. alcove that urgently needs my appraisal? Not at the moment, no. Worst sculpture. A gilded Jerome figurine. Quite rare. All of our items are one of a kind and in excellent condition. I do have a reputation to maintain. He's a little bit more put together than Gabriel. Right on 7th Avenue. Excellent. Yeah, Gabriel's just like, traffic. yeah, I do but this just to make a little bit of money, just so I can survive. Well, you know, Gabriel is allowed. Fortunately, I mean, he's out. <laughs> By the way, there's a reflection off of the floor. Oh my god! <laughs> We're right on 7th Avenue. Excellent visibility and good foot traffic. But most of the walk-ins take one look at the price tags and quietly leave. <laughs> Fortunately, most of our business comes from How much? clients. Woo! They are in Manhattan. Could, could I afford to go? No! Cedric, you could be sold in this year an antique. I could? I'm sneaking suspicion Gretchen keeps gold and bronze objects behind her because of the way they bring out her hair. Oh. Gretchen's desk is more cosmetic than functional. She does most of her work on a tablet. Let's put Gretchen in the inventory. <laughs> we should catch up on what's been going on while I was away. Let's do it. Let's do it. 
So what's the next assignment? You just got here. You probably haven't even been to your penthouse yet. Penthouse. Ooh, well, we're definitely in better what? shape than Gabriel. <laughs> yeah. We're not sleeping in the back of the store. In Rome for Sotheby's. Selling our dad's for painting for a hundred bucks. Malachi, you just got out of the hospital. You should let your body rest. At least long enough to get your, used your to a time Your teeth zone. scare me. With the economy yeah, that's the, counter, the only thing I can complain about right now is the characters are a little weird. Or create a good forgery. I might as well make the money while I can. Well, this was independently fun, you hard. know. Right. Your body needs... What my body needs is no concern of yours. No. I almost rather them not move their mouths and just... Or do it the way they... Or have it the faces. Yeah. You said in your email that you've been looking into security options? I made a list of the reputable security agencies in New York. You should have a bodyguard travel with you. With the money you earn on these assignments, you can afford it. No, they'd only get in the way and be tiresome. I prefer to travel alone. It'd be like that kid that travels with security options. and like walks around and he's, <laughs> and he's eventually gonna get like his ass beat. Who is this new client? Amble Dexter, 452 Central Park West. He wouldn't say what it was about, just that he needed someone with your expertise. If he wouldn't even say what it's about, then it's not worth my time following up. Well, it is a very upscale address, but do as you please. Oh, we, we have a thing. What other options do you have for security? I've been researching security agencies in various international cities. I can set someone up when you travel, have them meet you at the airport. I can't trust someone I've just met. How could I be sure they weren't already bought off? These are reputable agencies. You have to get over your trust issues. Hmm. Uh. Mm. No I think we should be friends. Mm. I think I have we should a be enemies. On where to buy guns in various countries. It's not a very good option, but it's better than going into a bad situation unarmed. And maybe the mere presence of a gun will remind you not to shoot off your mouth. Gretchen. Uh, I mean, give your fascinating opinion quite so freely. All right. Maybe we'll try that next time. That's all for now. Very well. Goodbye. <laughs> Are you sure nothing is, is there anything in the alcove that urgently needs my appraisal? Not at the moment, no. What's behind her in that hallway? That's our office. Oh. So you can look at all these things too. My passport. No. I need to take these or I can get into trouble. Oh, what type of trouble? My wallet. Yeah. I can't examine my wallet. Aspirin. Help with the headaches. Help my back. Oh, it's meagerly furnished. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're in Manhattan. How did know I was in Manhattan. And how did he get my cell phone number? And how does he know you're there? And present your passport to security. Well, it's a good thing we have it. I don't need to text him right now. Are you you sure? I don't need to call him right now. Sounds like you should. We got Professor Reed and Amble Dexter. Is he Amber De Dexterous? He could be. Nothing. That's extremely odd. It's an unusual name, but there's information on everyone on the internet. Unless it was intentionally scrubbed. Uh-oh. Ooh. Stock market continues dangerous dive. The bleak economy seems to be all the newspapers can talk about these days. Was this made during the housing crisis? <laughs> At the end of it. It's a letter from Mr. Barosi, an antique dealer in Venice. He has a brilliant eye for interesting pieces. He's a little quaint. He insists on sending snail mail. I'd like to see what Barosi's found. Perhaps I'll be passing through Venice sometime soon. Nope. I'm not doing this. I like the music. Oop, taking meds. Is this Phantasmagoria? <laughs> <laughs> I've always liked the sense of isolation in that painting. I saw three ships. I find it best to have my clients associate me with interesting but unusual finds. 
The artwork is all chosen for that purpose, and I change it every few months. That's the butt. I find it best to have my clients associate me with interesting okay. but unusual finds. The artwork is all chosen for that purpose, and I change it every few months. <laughs> oh my. Let's look at the couch. The couch is for the rare times I have a client visit me here. There was something where you could find China with the from couch. the early 19th century. Yeah. You want to? No, thank you. <laughs> he told you. Because I have visitors, as unlikely as that may be. Bird statue. It's an original bird, 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 bird. by an upcoming artist. It should be. It feels so good. <laughs> that about the bird is the word. I keep some of my favorite objects in my office. That doesn't mean I wouldn't part with them for the right price. <laughs> oh, you're pragmatic, I see. I'd rather use my phone. Well, I don't use my computer like I used to. Everything is on my phone these days. Well, isn't he living in the future? The yeah, right. Anything new we can talk about? Gretchen? Yes, Malachi. Ooh, the text. Did you give Amble Dexter my cell phone number? No. I told him I'd give you his message and that I didn't know when you'd be back in town. Hmm. Well, he got it from somewhere. Goodbye. That's all for now. Very well. I'm going to go see Mr. Dexter. Good. But tell him you can't travel anywhere for a few weeks. I'll be I'll leaving immediately. Sort. Good luck. <laughs> I'm going to Venice. My suitcase is still packed. It's convenient. The backgrounds in the UI is really cool. It's just like their character sprites are weird. Yeah. Where's my passport? He wants to see that. Oh, is that my my drugs? <laughs> yeah. This is my prescription. Do you want some? <laughs> it's gonna be good. <laughs> Here's my passport. He looks like the Slender Man. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Rector. You can go through to Mr. Dexter's office. Use the elevator, sir. I want to use the stairs. Watch out! The elevator's rigged! I actually didn't want to go up there yet, but apparently I did! Ah, Mr. Rector. What a pleasure to find oh, no, you. Oh no, he's creepy. I've heard about your remarkable talents. Which I presume you'd like he to He had the polio! Precisely. Please, come in and sit down. This is Mr. Reichardt, my associate. Mr. Rector? Hello. Before we discuss the job that we have in mind, it's I Franklin hope Delano you want to do a simple exercise. I got the money. Oh, I'm afraid I left my performing monkey hat at home. Oh. Please don't take it like that. I think as a historian, you'll find it quite fascinating. I'll think about it. Oh, he really might be some type of weird, like, organizational president. The flag bears the logo I saw in the lobby with the initials F-I-T-A. What does it stand for? Is it a new type of sandwich? Uh -uh. Huh. It tells us the temperature. Ooh, 555, five, 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 five. Oh. 555, five, 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 five. <laughs> Beep, 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 beep. It explodes. Hmm. Reichardt looks like the agency type. A ruthless little paper worm. Not that there's anything wrong with that. He's got a lot of White House pictures in the background. That's an interesting quote. Must have particular significance to Dexter. Hmm. Maybe he's from the past. <laughs> Maybe it really the, is FDR to, to play the shitty games that suck ass. Dexter's desk is designed for easy wheelchair access, but it's much like any other beyond that. He keeps it tidy. Hmm. Amble Dexter. He appears to run this place, whatever this place is. Malachi can analyze objects and people to learn more about them. Each icon highlights a point of interest. Click on one to see the data point and select from the list of possible deductions based on what Malachi sees. Yeah, calm leader. 
That's cool. I haven't seen a game with that kind of feature. Probably highly determined. Mm-hmm. Highly determined. On a stimulant. <laughs> he does the methamphetamines. <laughs> It's a simple exercise. What is this exercise you mentioned? Take a look at this man. Tell me if he reminds you of any specific person in history. I read objects, not people. And this exercise is illogical. Humor me, please. I've heard you have a photographic memory and that your knowledge of history is beyond compare. I'm intrigued. Are we going to look at it? It's on the desk. <laughs> oh, we're doing that now. Discuss the job you have for me. <laughs> Oops. Certainly. But first, please indulge me with my little exercise, if you'd be so kind. Okay. I prefer to work on my phone. I'll scan in the man's bio. I like to use my phone. Beep, 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 beep. I have to use my phone. Giuseppe. Go fei fei. Okay. Ready for his church, support his work, hired by Vatican, and Flint Greenland. Hmm. So we got to pick who that person might be in history. Mm hmm Raphael. Yeah, it's a Ninja me. Turtle. Yeah. Well, Michelangelo. This kind of mechanic it's like a guess who mm -hmm. like or you know like the uh, that board game oh yeah so mm -hmm. it should be still them Donatello. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay. The Raphael was in all of them. Yeah. So, boink. That's cool. I really like that kind of guess who. Yeah. Or clue. Who knows? Guess. guess who? <laughs> Is this a joke? Not at all. What do you see? His biography reads like that of Raffaello Sanzio d'Arbino, the 15th century painter better known as Raphael. You do not disappoint, Mr. Rector. Such a pleasure to finally meet you. Truly, I'm delighted. Wonderful. Now perhaps we can discuss the job you have for me. I still don't see the point of that exercise. A modern man happens to have a similar life story to a famous painter. What of it? Indeed. Its relevancy to us needn't concern you. Uh, All we ask for is your expertise. That, in that concerns me. <laughs> yes. Connection. We don't really care if you know why. Do you have a job for me, Mr. Dexter, or not? I do. The job is in Venice. <gasps> A young How woman fortuitous. of and high birth was murdered there a week ago. Whoa. Her name was Bianca Cardolo. 
I'd like you to go to Venice and investigate who she was and do what you just <clears throat> did so magnificently. See if she reminds you of any historical person. That is all. I don't investigate deaths. Hire a detective. We're not looking for her killer. Only the facts of her life. The facts a brief of life. Biography, if you facts will. Of life. And for you to document any No one that like watches us would even know what that is. Perhaps there will be none. Oh, the the what? As well. It was what a sitcom in the eighties. I want you to scream real loud at my ass. I'll pay you fifty. <laughs> it should take you no more than a week. Fifty what? Fifty million? Mr. Director. I mean, I guess we kind of have to do it. I mean, that's what the game is, right? Yeah. I'm not interested. Game over. <laughs> right. I might be interested. I like how he doesn't really even say, he's like, I might be. This particular woman, and what the point is behind these comparisons to people in history. I'm afraid any further information is classified at a high security level. I'll take it. Sorry, I'm not interested. Whatever we'll see what happens. Age mumbo jumbo you're into, I live on the planet Earth, oh. where there are no reincarnations, avatars of the god Shiva, or any such nonsense. And I'm afraid I'm booked up working for Earthlings for the foreseeable future. Tell me this. You saw our security procedures? What kind of entity would you say we are? And do you think an entity like that would be into mumbo jumbo? That was kind of a weird leap in conversation. I'm still not interested. That's disappointing. I hope you'll reconsider. I think you'd find the investigation quite fascinating. This reminds me of like a Telltale game. Mm-hmm. I'll take it. <laughs> I was bluffing to get paid more. Uh, right. <laughs> so, I knew you'd come back. It's for the money. This is a government agency of some sort, isn't it? You won't get answers here, Mr. Rector. But you might get them in Venice. I'm trying to convince you. About that job. Yes? I'll take the job. Excellent. I know you won't disappoint me, Mr. Rector. Speak to the guard in the lobby. He'll give you your plane tickets. And Godspeed. I very much look forward to hearing your report when you return from Venice. I'll forward the relevant information about Bianca Cardolo to your phone. Very well. Goodbye. Need my phone, yes, that's where everything must go. I am my phone. I need my phone. I'm the new iPhone 3. Pass through the scanner. Just the new iPhone. <laughs> I hear the Blackberry's not gonna be ruined by it at all. No. What could ever destroy the Blackberry? Space! The final frontier. Space. It's definitely, we've already figured. Yes, it's already a government agency. The infinity symbol. It's like a Mobius. <gasps> oh! oh! I would say. Probably wholeness. I don't know. Analysis complete. I thought it was a feta, you know, like a pita pit. Future Intelligence Technology Agency. What does that mean? Hey, what on earth? Oh, I've never heard <gasps> a page deleted while I was viewing it. Very strange. Oh. Well, something's going cray cray around here. Mr. Dexter said you have plane tickets for me. Don't shoot me. Yes, sir. Have a good trip, sir. Thank you. Where's my passport? Why is it not first class? Looks like when he said 50, that was thousand, there. right? <laughs> for my trip to Venice. Oh, it's telling me that I I've done everything. Okay. I don't know. I want to go back to the, um, your office. Yeah. Why won't it let me click on the the map? Maybe you have to exit. 
That's why. Someone's taking pictures of us. I've taken a job for that new client, Amble Daxter. I leave for Venice today. Oh, God. Why am I not surprised? Well, I'll hold down the fort as usual. Good luck. Thank you. Gretchen? Yes, Malachi? Oh, okay. That's all for now. Very well. Looks like I've taken care of everything here. I should head to the airport for my trip. Oh, it Venice. really just is like, oh, you've done it. Please, go now. Move <clears throat> story forward. I guess we'll have to move the story forward in the next episode. But I gotta know what happens. Right meow. But not right now. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Ooh, I'm back. I have money. That'll be all for now, Cedric. Oh. <laughs> but You've but been I, dismissed. But I want to buy the black cabinet. I have money from my cigarettes. <laughs> We don't take your blood money. <laughs> but Keith made me a billionaire. <laughs> Is that what, after, you, what, after you sued the tobacco industry? <laughs> shh. No. It's because he smoked every single one of them. <laughs> he, his entire pension went to Cedric Brad cigarettes. And now he's dead. And that was billions? <laughs> billions! Is that why that city collapsed afterwards? Well, yes, because <laughs> they had to resort to crack cocaine <laughs> and heroin! In order to pay for his pension that you collect now. <laughs> Shh. Sonny Bonds is next.